Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back with a, um, a finished project um, that I started um, a week or two ago. Um, it was the, um, the 3D embellishment box. Um, I had did a tutorial on how to put it together, just the basic. And so now I finished it and added some things to it. And so I wanted to share that with you. And um, some of the things that I've made inside I used, I'm also featuring this die today, the Heart Fantasy Flower. Really cute. Comes with two plates, small and large. And each one has eight flowers on it. And then I think there's three centerpiece pieces on each one that you can use. So you don't have to run it. You can get quite a bit of flowers out of just run it through one time each. So love that. So let me show you what I made. So here's my 3D embellishment book. I haven't hung a charm or anything on the end. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm probably going to be gifting this. So um, I don't know if I'm going to put it on there or not, but I just tied it together with this chiffon ribbon stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love this. And the color matched really good, so I just tied that together. So this is what my um, front looks like now, all decorated. Okay, so I'm using Forever Fields by Maggie Holmes. And um, I went ahead and used this Made with Love. This also comes with the, with the 3D embellishment book. So I use that. Um, for the front of my for front of my album or my whatever you want to call it book okay and then I used a bunch of ephemera some uh, ribbon and cabochons and all different kinds of stuff little strawberries okay and then I, I made a bunch of these little um, heart fantasy flowers so um, these I just put um, little enamel dots in the centers I think that turned out really pretty so these are kind of like all all um, layered up, like kept the things one on top of another. You can do so many different variations on the flowers. Um, but that's how I did these on the front. So I think that turned out really pretty. I have some ribbon um, that I got off Timu, just um, attached down here on the bottom. Okay, let me open up the front and I use this piece I hadn't used this piece when I dec uh, before when I put the album together. It's this um, it's a decorative piece that cuts out this scallop edge. So I used that right there and just um, made a pocket. So I just attached, you know, just glued it on the three sides. And I used some more ephemera to decorate it. And then I stuck a bunch of the cut aparts and tags and stuff down in the pocket. Okay, and then here's my box. I just decorated it a little bit with some of the ephemera and stickers and everything and then put a little cabbage on there. I believe I already shared these flowers. These are the flowers that comes with this set, which I think is a great deal to get a whole set of flowers and leaves and everything um, to go along with the, with the embellishment box book. <laughs> so I love that. So there's those. I believe I shared the, the um, some of the bows with you. This is, this is the triple star bow. So I got those in there. Here's some other, uh, the heart fantasy flowers, some other ones I made. These ones are really uh, just kind of flat. I didn't really, um, you know, um, shape these or anything. I just made them pretty flat. And then I used this cute little piece uh, sprig um, to the side out know, of gold glitter. So I love how those turned out. Here's some more of the heart fantasy flowers these ones I layered up two different colors from the collection and then I put these cute little um, gold um, like gem pieces they're in the centers and I just added a couple little tiny centers <laughs> just to give it some extra for you know for my packaging basically so I think those turned out really pretty now these I <clears throat> these I kind of shaped a bit they're getting kind of flattened out from being in the in the book but I shaped them a bit and then um, and I kind of shaped them to be kind of folding over. So some of them I have done I've kind of folding in and some of them I've kind of you know making them go out. So it just depends on what kind of look you want. So those are in there and then a couple more of the bows. This is the small one. 
<coughs> this is one with the tail out straight, and this is one the tail I cut in half and, and angled down. Okay, here's some more of the flowers. This has a layer of pattern paper and a layer of vellum behind, and then um, the strawberry. Some more. This is just two um, pieces of plain cardstock layered up on that one. Then these are some old centers I had in my stash, some of the leaves, and then again the green paper and then the vellum. I think I have. Oh, yeah, there's three layers back there. So there's another layer of green back there behind the thing. So I think those turned up pretty, so those I put in there. Okay, and then I just put this cute little wax seal. It matched really well, the green in it. And so I just, uh, this is actually the, the gray one, but it looked really good too, because I had there's some green that came with it in the pack. I love those. <clears throat> and look how pretty this is. This is just a sticker, and um, this is another sticker. I just um, popped it up on foam, and then another one is wax seals. And then I'm back here. I clipped this on this um, clip. Um, I was gifted, so I decided to use that. It looked, I thought the blue looked good with this. So I just decorated a glassine bag with some of the stickers and stuff from the sticker book. And then in here I have put um, a couple little, little gifts that I'm adding in here. Okay, along with one of the, um, <laughs> one of the cute cows and one of the cute pigs. I haven't put the horse together yet. My uh, Rosalind keeps saying, Mom, Emily, we got to do the, the horse still. And I said, I know we do. <laughs> so anyway, I'll be getting the horse done and adding a horse to that too. But I wanted to share with you how my album kind of all came together. The back I left plain, just put my tag on it. Okay. So that, I mean, that holds a lot of stuff. I didn't put these in plastic or anything. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them in <coughs> any kind of covering other than just this um, the pattern paper that I stuck these to. And the, the pattern paper, um, or the embellishments are all um, just um, attached with a glue dot, so they should be easy to um, peel off. I just got to get these in here without sticking them together, catching them on the things. But anyway, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six different sheets of, you know, fairly, you know, um, bulky items that fit in there. Plus this baggie of stuff on the back. And then this is pretty flat here in the front, but it still is puffed up a little bit. So it gives you plenty of room. It still closes really nice. Okay. And I just, yeah. I think it turned out really cute. So just wanted to share that with you now that I've got it finished, um, put together and added some things to it and decorated it and stuff. So I also added on this decorative piece on the edge too, on the spine. And then I put a clear um, sticker from the sticker book. So that says, remember, just thought that was pretty. So I think it turned out really cute. So that is my share for today. Um, you're gonna want this flower set in your <laughs> in your stash. I mean, who can have enough flowers, right? So, um, this is the Heart Fantasy flower, and then I also love this flower. And that set comes with the box with the 3D embellishment book. So, just so you know. All right, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.